Every semester we uh, have our students come in and do some things in the simulation lab. We set them up with a scenario that they might see when they're out at their clinical experience. And what we're not trying to do is, is get them to, to come in and give us a perfect simulation. What we're trying to do is just run them through and then give them feedback as to how they can make it better. Some students struggle a little bit, especially yesterday we had our, our first year students in here and so it took them a little while to get used to this. Today is all of our graduating students that are coming in so they've done these two or three times at least and they're getting a little bit better so things tend to go a little bit quicker but we always have some way to debrief them and say hey this is how you can make this situation better uh, for today's simulations we bring in a coach um, and so we add in this extra factor with them that they have not only their player to deal with but they also have a coach who's going to try to goad them and try to to try to get his way um, and what I love about our coach is well he's a really nice guy off the field when we bring him in here he promises to always give our students a hard time this is a great benefit to the program because many times the students don't know what it feels like to check someone's pulse or check someone's breathing if they're not actually crashing, if they're not actually in that situation. And while I'm out here kind of directing the situation, Rachel Hildebrand, who's our program director, is in the back running Mediman. And so she can change his breathing rate, she can change his pulse rate, she'll answer their questions, and she'll make sure that they're paying attention to the patient with what's going on. Uh, it's one thing to read about something in a book, it's another thing to actually experience it and say, oh, this is what a weak and rapid pulse actually feels like when I get my hands on it. Oh, this is what happens when their, their breathing becomes shallow. This is how we can react in this situation. So it gives them a real life scenario without actually putting anybody in danger. Uh, so if you're interested in, in joining us in the Master of Athletic Training program, you want to go on to the Graduate School Admissions website and fill out an application. If you have any questions, just look on the Athletic Training homepage. You can find both of our information and you can give us a contact and we will give you tons of information about the program that maybe may or may not even be there. You're also welcome to stop in and visit. If you do come visit us, we will bring you to the simulation lab. We will let you meet Medi Man. We don't always turn them on for you, uh, but you can at least come in and you can come say hi.